Hey, I'm Corey from Avid Max, and this is the tie wheel. The tie wheel is a really unique device that's made to help you with your fly tying and your fly tying station. So the main piece of the tie wheel is this base plate, and the base plate goes on the bottom of your vise, and I'm going to show you how to put how to install it. If you'll notice on the bottom of the base plate, we have a bunch of magnets, and these magnets give, make it basically so you have an entire magnetized surface as you're tying flies. So I'll go ahead and install this. We already have one of the collars on the shaft. It comes with two. Put that guy on there. Put the other collar in place. We'll tighten this down with an Allen wrench real quick. And then install that onto the base of our fly tying vise. Okay, so now that's secure in place. And so we have a magnetized surface here. The nice thing is, is that you can take your scissors or any of your other tools that are um, fully metal, um, hooks, flies that you've already tied, it all just kind of sit in place as you're tying. Um, I really like this because um, I like putting my scissors there, I, I really don't like putting them down on the table and I'm not really used to holding them while I tie yet, so I like to kind of put them there and then I can just grab them easy when I want to tie a fly or whatever I'm doing when I need to use those scissors. So that's the base state, the main base by itself. And then there's five different attachments that we can add to the tie wheel. First of all, we have two different tray attachments. We have a shallow tray, and the shallow tray is designed for holding beads or hooks or whatever. And that just flips in place just like that, magnetized to the surface. You can see that there's two different magnets in each of these um, uh, additional pieces, and those will hook or magnetize right into the base of the, the, the normal base plate. This is the deep tray attachment. That one slips in just like that. And I really like the deep tray because I can hold head cement, uh, my UV light, um, you know, larger things that you want to have nearby and handy will sit down in, into those trays. Then we have um, a trash can attachment. And the trash can attachment is pretty cool. Basically, you have um, the, the main trash can com uh, compartment here. And then this shaft in the middle of that is magnetized. So if you accidentally uh, sweep a fly or sweep a hook into there, that shaft is going to grab that so that it doesn't go in, down into your trash can. And the trash can base comes off and then you can empty that out when you're done tying. So I'll put this guy in place. That goes right there. Then we also have a tool attachment. And the tool attachment has all these little holes in it. That's designed to hold all of your tools, keep them nice and close while you're tying. And I'll show you that guy loaded up in a little bit here. And the last attachment we have is for holding spools of thread or wire or tinsel or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off, uh, I'm gonna take off the shallow tray and we'll put the spool attachment in place right there. So this is pretty cool because you can have the, these uh, brass pins going straight up or you can take them out and you can put them out right in the front. So you can have the spools a little bit more out of the way, but still close by and accessible. So the last, the last option that you have with the tie wheel is the, the shaft extension. And this basically um, lets you maintain the distance that you might have lost between you know, your table and your vise. So this will, when you use this, it keeps the tie wheel at the same level, but then it allows you to raise your vise back up. So you have a little bit more clearance here. So that's an optional piece as well. So now let's load it up and you can see it with all of the tools in place. So here's the tie wheel fully loaded up with all of the tools and materials that, that, we, that it can hold. Um, you know, initially I thought that um, it might be a little too tight to actually work uh, with all of this stuff on here, but you know, I think you have plenty of room to do what you need to do. I, again, I really like being able to have my scissors right there uh, magnetized. Um, but if you prefer not to have all these attachments on there, you know, you can just easily take one off. Um, I kind of like to have my scissors off to the side like that so that when I grab them, they're already open. Move those hooks out of the way. So that they're like that, the scissors are already open. Set it back down. It's very easy, quick and easy to grab that way. Um, so you don't have to have all of the different attachments on there at the same time. And you can see that it's also, you can turn it around. I'll put this back on. And if you want to access one of your tools, you can just flip this around, grab a tool that you want to on this side, 
flip it back, back away or around this way. I think I would prefer to keep the trash can in front of me so if something falls off, I can just drop it in there real quick. That way I keep a nice, tidy workspace. Uh, my only uh, complaint about the tie wheel is that there's really not a good place for a bodkin. Um, you can certainly put a bodkin in one of the tool holder slots over here, but personally, I'm afraid that I'm gonna jam my hand into that bodkin when I go to grab a different tool. So what I do is I just keep my bodkin um, on the plate right here. Again, it's magnetic, so it'll keep it in place. But I use my bodkin a lot, so I really want it um, accessible when I'm tying flies. So now I think we're gonna go through a quick fly tying demo just so you can see the tie wheel in action and uh, get an idea of what it's like to tie a fly with all of this uh, in place. So that's the tie wheel. Thanks for watching. Check out our other fly fishing and outdoor related videos on our Avid Max YouTube channel. Subscribe and we'll see you out there.